Hey, what's going on, guys? I just w watched an excellent documentary about France and the Korean War. I'm going to offer um, some more information that I found out on the documentary. And, um, yes, most of the French soldiers that came, um, they were all volunteers. They believe most were idealistic and believed in stopping communism, uh, not just in Korea, but around the world. Um, now, some did come because they had been arrested or in trouble in France, and the judge had said, you either go to jail or you enlist in the military, and instead of going to jail, a lot of them chose to go into the military. And um, while they were classified as volunteers, they were just trying to get out of jail. But that was not most of them, but that was some of them. Uh, some were bankrupt and needed uh, a job, a job with benefits and a job where you didn't have to pay for much, and that's the military. You don't make a lot, but you don't have to pay for a lot either. And some of them joined for that reason, but most joined because they wanted to stop communism around the world. Um, this is an excellent documentary. You can find it on YouTube. It's the Korean War, the French Battalion documentary, and it interviews a lot of the French veterans. And um, one of the guys was set to go to uh, Vietnam, or at the time it was called French Indochina, and he was a sergeant. But they said, we need you to go to Korea. So he kind of got voluntold uh, to go to Korea, but he said he didn't regret it. He didn't re regret going over there. Um, the, um, it did talk about how the battalion was commanded by Ralph Montclair, and Ralph Montclair checked on all the French soldiers in his battalion. He knew them on a personal basis. He always led from the front, and when, uh, People in France were donating their blood to the soldiers in Korea. Ralph Von Clare flew to France and personally met with and congratulated the blood donors. And that is a lot of guts. That takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage and a lot of selflessness to do that. Um, the documentary does talk about how he took a demotion from general to lieutenant colonel so he could command the French battalion in the Korean War. Um, the U.S. soldiers during the Korean War did not have alcohol. They had fruit drinks, coffee, um, but for French soldiers, like particularly in French life, alcohol is a, a lot of times a way of life. Uh, they, The French soldiers snuck alcohol in and they sometimes would sell bottles of their alcohol to U.S. soldiers for $15 and they kind of hustled them, but uh, the U.S. soldiers had a good time with that alcohol too and helped relieve their stress. So it was kind of a win-win situation situation for both of them um in that situation because the the korean war it was just um it was just a lot of destruction a lot of death a lot of um you saw a lot of horrific stuff uh, and that's why a lot of them didn't take their personal leave in Seoul. Seoul was in ruins at the time, and uh, you saw a lot of depressing sights because it was just in war ruins. So they, they took their leave in Tokyo, Japan, um, and there were neon lights everywhere, and they said they uh, they had had a good time. Uh, but um, anyways, it's an excellent documentary. I highly recommend it. You can find it on um, you can find it on YouTube. Um, so, um, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.